<laughs> Hello, I'm on the Facts of Mars. And here's a really strange entry into the uh, mad science and mental disorder of liberalism categories. Will you become a citizen of Asgardia, the First Nation state in space? Well, I would say not, but, uh, anyway, we'll go over this. Might not spend a lot of time. Aiming to open up spa access to space technology, protect Earth from cosmic threats and foster peace, proposals for a new space nation have been un un unveiled. I need a hit of my coffee. Alright. Proposals for first nation state in space have been unveiled by a team of scientists and legal experts, otherwise known as lawyers, who say the move will foster peace, open up access to space technologies, and offer protection for citizens of planet Earth. Right! They're just going to be so powerful. But we can go on. Dubbed Asgardia after one of the mythical worlds inhabited by North gods, the team says the new nation will eventually become a member of the United Nations with its own flag and an anthem devised by members of the public through a series of competitions. According to the project website, which I will show you shortly, Asgardia will offer an independent platform free from the con constraint of a land-based country's laws. Right. They're just going to be completely dependent on the land base if they ever move it into space. I'll get to that in a minute. Initially, it was seen the new nation would consist of a single satellite scheduled to be launched next year with its citizens residing firmly on terra firma. Speaking to the Guardian to interpret her the lead Project Lead Igor A said physically the citizens of that nation state will be on Earth. They'll be living in different countries on Earth, so they'll be a citizen of their own country and at the same time they'll be citizens of Asgardia. Hey. When the number of those applications goes above 100,000, we can officially apply to the UN for status of state. According to the project website, any human living on Earth can become a citizen of Asgardia, the site featuring a simple registration form. At the time of this writing, more than 1,000 individuals had already signed up. When, that, when asked why, People should register to become citizens of Asgardia. A said, I do believe that as soon as this country becomes part of the UN family, citizenship of that country will be really quite prestigious. A Russian businessman and nanoscientist who also founded the Vienna based Aerospace International Research Center and its and is currently chairman of UNESCO's Science of Space Committee. A said that the project aims to open up conversation about regulations surrounding space activity. These people actually take this seriously. President, the Outer Space Treaty that underpins International space law states that responsibility and liability for objects sent in space lies within the nation that launched them. But the project team claim that Asgardio set a new precedent shifting responsibility to the new space station itself. I don't see any point going on. This is just other kookiness. I'll show you their website. It's Real beautiful. Asgardia concept. If you'll forgive the pun, this isn't going to get off the ground. It'll just be some big social club that people meet with all over the world. You know, 
nations have resource, natural resources. They have planes and ships if they're not landlocked. And cars and people and cities. We're nowhere near this. Unless they've lied to us about technology, in which case it would be fe might be feasible. But don't expect to see this anytime soon. I'm sure it'll be a big hit with liberals, but I got more important things to worry about, like keeping a certain loudmouth dirtbag named Hillary Clinton out of office. I'm out of facts of Mars. Did I mention she's a criminal? I'm out of facts of Mars. Happy communing, I guess. Oh, this is just kookiness. Thanks for watching.